In this video, I'll show you how to create interactive map tokens that allow your players to see a quick blurb about a given location, and then click a link to open a handout to get more information. Let's get started. So the prerequisite to doing this is you need to already have handouts created for each location that you want your players to click on. You can see I've got three right here. Now, in order to create this clickable link, we need to get the URL to each of those handouts. And in order to do that, we need to create what's called a master handout. And the master handout is just a regular handout that contains links to all your other handouts. It's also a handy GM reference because you can keep notes about lots of different locations in a single place. So here's how to make that. I'm just going to say add handout, and I'll call this the master handout. And down here in the description and notes section, I'm going to type an open bracket and then the name of the handout I want to link to. So let's do the Tomb of Garthalor. And it's important that you use the exact same name here as you'd have for your handout. And then I'm also just going to put in a, a note to myself. Okay, and now we click Save Changes. And you can see that we've got a link now, and we'll be able to right-click on that link to get the URL of this particular handout. We're going to use that uh, a little bit later on. But for right now, what I would do is just edit this again and add my other locations, so ultimately it's going to look something like this. So I have a link to each one of my other handouts, and in my case I've got a quick little note about each of those items as well. Okay, so I'm just going to double click on this guy to tuck him away. We'll be using him again later. The next thing we need is a token to represent the location. So I've already created a multi-sided token using some Skyrim icons, and I'll put a link to those down in the description. Uh, I'm going to resize this by holding down the Alt key and shrink it a little bit so that it keeps my resizing. And I'm also going to make this token a drawing so that I don't have all the bubbles. Okay, now I want this to represent some ruins, so I'm going to choose the token side that is ruins. There we go. Now this token is going to be clickable by my players, so I need to give them control over that token. But I also don't want them to be able to edit or, or modify a lot of the information in the token. So I'm going to go on to advanced here, and I'm going to say that the players can see the token's name, but they're not going to be able to edit anything else uh, about that token. All right, that done. We're going to go back to the basic section here, and I'm going to put in a quick one-line description about this location in bar one. Uh, and this just says that this was a former human city now overrun by goblins. And in the bar one max field, I want to put the URL for the handout related to this location. So I'm going to go back to my master handout now. I'm going to right click on the ruins of Arbiglut, say copy link address, and I'm just going to paste that into bar one's max field there. And we're going to create a macro in a minute that reads the information from these bars and displays it in chat. All right, and then I'm also going to give the token the name. Uh, again, this is the Ruins of Arbiglut. And we'll click Save Changes. So let's make the macro. I'm going to click Add here. And I'm going to give my macro a name. I'm going to call this Gather Intel. And I'm going to paste in some code. So let's talk about what this code is doing. Uh, if I go back to my output here, you can see the first thing we're doing is we're using the default template from my character sheet, which is what gives me this little purple box. Then name equals selected token name. So that's reading the name of the token and displaying it in the title of the box. So Tomb of Garthalor is the name of that token. Then this line, the resting place of Garthalor, last of the dragon paladins, that's what's in bar one. And then click here to learn more is getting the location of the handout and displaying that to the player. So what I'm going to do here now is select the ruins of Arbiglut and test the macro. And there we go. It works. We see the ruins of Arbiglut, former human city, now overrun by goblins. Click here to learn more. And we get our handout displayed 
with the information about the ruins of Arbogleit. Okay, so now I'm going to make this a token action. I'm going to make this visible to all my players so they all can use it. And then we'll click Save Changes. And there we go. Now we have a interactive map icon that my players can click on in order to learn more about a given location. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.